guys, so today I'm going to be doing Chin Ching number 118. So the first thing that I have, and this was kind of a crazy sale, uh, this was a Sonic the Hedgehog bubble bath. This was actually put out by Avon, and this was the Princess Sally version. So these bubble baths came with these little Sonic the Hedgehog finger puppets that were like the toppers on the bottle. So I found three of these at a yard sale. I think I paid like a quarter or 50 cents a piece for them. This one sold for $199.99. So, um, you know, that was just a crazy sale. I'm pretty sure I still have the other two left that haven't sold, but the Princess Sally one was definitely the more desirable one out of the three. Next item I have went to a subscriber named Sandra. This was a little Thai jingle beanie dog that sold for $5.99 and I'm pretty sure that came out of a tray of some stuff that I won at an auction. I also sold a Department 56 kind of like Christmas Village piece. This one was of a Starbucks store won this at an auction that sold for $229.95. So some Department 56 Christmas Villages can definitely sell really well. And a lot of the times it's more like specific themed things like Starbucks. So this is definitely one to look out for if you ever come across any kind of Department 56 Christmas Village pieces. I also sold a Santa Claus. This was from 1992 and it was by someone named Gail Laura. Uh, that sold for $19.99 and I'm pretty sure that also came out of a tray of some stuff I won at an auction. I sold a purple cat um, ring holder for $9.99. I think this came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. I actually have a yellow one. So the yellow one hasn't sold yet, but the purple one did go. I also sold an Old World Christmas. This was a glass Santa Claus Christmas ornament for $19.99. And I'm thinking that came from a yard sale. I also sold a General Electric alarm clock radio for $15.99. This either came from a yard sale or an auction. I'm pretty sure it came from a yard sale though because I can't imagine us bidding on that at an auction but i don't remember um let's see we have another waterford crystal paste um this one was of an eagle that sold for two hundred dollars um and this came from facebook marketplace eric had purchased a bunch of waterford crystal pieces so i told you i think in my last cha ching that you'll start seeing more of them pop up i also sold a pure one glass ornament mini tree for $35.99 that came from a yard sale and I think I paid four or five dollars for it. I also sold a set of two Avon lotions in the scent Far Away for $12.99. Those came from an auction. Um, at one point I was getting a lot of Avon stuff and I was paying like a couple dollars uh, for some just trays full of Avon items. I also sold, this was a National Lampoon's Acrylic Moose Mugs. Those sold for $29.99 and they came from a yard sale. I say I paid two or three dollars for them. I also sold a monkey. This was like a paperweight or something. It was just a really weird looking like monkey figure. I picked him up at a fill -a bag rummage sale and he sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I also sold a miniature Boyd's bear. This one was of an Easter themed duck in like a little miniature bag that sold for $39.99 and that came from a yard sale. I'd say I paid a dollar for it. I also sold a marble uh, figure of a bowl that sold for $12.99 and I think that also came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. Next was a vintage Lucite purse that sold for $99.99 and that came from an auction. I also sold a Betsy Johnson Betsy-fied perfume for 
$19.99. That came from Walmart and I got that on clearance and I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for it. I also sold, oh this next item went to a subscriber named Sue. She purchased a fossil fringe purse for $34.99 and that I'm pretty sure came from a yard sale. I also sold a Michael Amico Khan roach mug that sold for $39.99 that did come from an auction. I had won quite a few pieces of these um, pottery pieces by Michael and Miko Khan. Um, I do have quite a few pieces left. Um, I thought that they would sell a lot faster than what they have been selling, but they're really cool, interesting pieces, and I do feel like they will eventually sell once they find their, their right buyer. I also sold a Prunel Gurnier, if I'm pronouncing this right. This was a green glass decanter, kind of shaped like a hand. Um, that sold for $29.99. That came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. So it was a, quite a few sales here that were from the same fill -a bag rummage sale. And when I say fill -a bag rummage sale, I filled a bag for $10 sold a Yamaha cassette tape recorder for $229.99. This did come from an auction. Um, I don't sell like a ton of electronics. Um, Eric and I, we have been burned on purchasing electronics to resell. Sometimes you buy them, people claim that they're in working condition, you get them and they do not work or you know something's missing um like a power cord or you know what i mean so like we have been burned on electronics in the past so we're kind of hesitant about picking up electronics but there is good money to be made in electronics so it's something that like you know if if we're not paying a whole lot for it and we know there's good potential there then we'll take the risk but you know, it is hard sometimes to want to take a risk on something, just not knowing if you know the item is going to work. So you have to let me know in the comments if you've ever been burned, or not even just like electronics, but anything that would essentially should have been in working condition, but then when you got it home, it was not. Um, let's see, I also sold a Bulgari um, men's cologne for $69.99. That came from a flea market, and I'd say I paid $10 for that. I also sold a Bell's Nickel Santa chocolate mold for $399.99. That did come from an auction. Um, at one point, Eric and I had won a bunch of those um, cast iron chocolate molds and obviously like some of them sell really really well and this one was a great one because it was big and it was santa claus i also sold a strawberry shortcake angel cake doll for thirteen dollars and 99 cents this was a vintage strawberry shortcake unfortunately i feel like vintage strawberry shortcake dolls just aren't holding much resale value right now so like when I see them, I'm sometimes hesitant about picking them up because I know there's not a lot of money to be made there, but it's such of like a nostalgic thing that it's hard for me to pass them up. I also sold a Saint, this was by a company called Saint Mary's. It was an acrylic satin trim blanket, brand new, still in the packaging. That sold for $39.99 and I'm pretty sure that came from a yard sale. I also sold a trinket box. This was by a company called Hammersley. It depicted like a fox hunt scene on it. That's over $12.99 and I got that at a yard sale. I'd say I paid a dollar for it. I also sold a Tatcha serum stick. This was like a um, skincare type item. That's over $25.99. and That came from an auction. Here's another Waterford crystal figure. This was of an elephant that sold for $125 from the same Facebook Marketplace score as the rest of the Waterford. I also sold a Precious Moments crib blanket for $39.99. That came from a yard sale. I'd say I paid a dollar for it. Um, here is another one of those chocolate molds. This was for, um, they were three frogs reading. 
that sold for $109.99 and it was from the same auction. We got the rest of the chocolate molds at. I also sold a Mr. Christmas Santa's marching band for $74.99 that also came from an auction. Next item went to a subscriber named Christina. She purchased a Danbury, Danbury Mint um, Beaver Christmas ornament for $11.99 and I'm pretty sure that came from a yard sale. Eric had gotten like a box of Danbury Mint um, animal ornaments. We did sell a lot of them. Um, I think we might have a couple left, but for the most part, most of them sold. Um, I also sold a Telco Sleeping Mrs. Claus. This was an animated um, Christmas figure that sold for $59.99. I got that at a fill -a bag rummage sale, but since it couldn't fit in my bag, I paid $2 for it. So anything you can't fit into like a plastic shopping bag, um, on the very first day of the rummage sale, you pay $2 for the item. So I paid $2 for that. So that was still a really great deal. I sold a Vera Bradley ID wallet for $11. And I'm pretty sure that also came from the same fill bag rummage sale. Next item was a double-sided serrated bread knife that sold for $32.99. And that either came from a yard sale or an auction. This nice item did come from a yard sale. This was an Eric Carl Very Busy Spider. Um, it was a plush, but it also came with the book of Very Busy Spider. That sold for $59.99. It was still new in its original packaging. Like I said, I picked it up at a yard sale, and I'd say I paid 5 or $6 for it. I also sold a Michael Kors bracelet for $39.99 that came from a yard sale and I probably paid about 4 or $5 for that one. Um, next we have a book. This was Anne Rice's Blackwood Farm that sold for $9.99. That came from a yard sale. I originally purchased that for myself to read so it was in my bookcase. I had finished reading it so I just decided to list it and it did sell. Um, so originally I probably paid like a quarter, 50 cents. I also sold an Avon Little Chili Snowman. This was the, the kid. Um, Avon came out with the, the Chili Snowman in like the man version. There was a woman version and this kid version. I had never seen the kid version before. So I found this at a yard sale. I think I paid about three, four dollars for him and he sold for $45 and 99 cents. I also sold an Ingi Glass Frosted, um, these were like sugared fruit Christmas ornaments. Um, this was for like a whole lot of them. They sold for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Eric picked these up at a yard sale and I think he paid ten dollars for the whole box of them. I also sold a 10 inch smoked black glass cake stand for $59.99. And I'm pretty sure that came from a yard sale as well. And I'd say we paid about $10 for that. Next was a Willie Ray Studio piece. This was of Baby Jesus. So this would have gone into like a Willie Ray nativity set. That sold for $31.10. And that came from an auction where I had purchased some other Willie Ray figures. So the next three items went to a subscriber named Steven. This was for a flat earth um, clay works vase that sold for $25. I picked that up at a yard sale. Um, also purchased a Mexican folk art fish. This was like a sea serpent fish that sold for $75 and that came from one of the folk art auctions Eric and I had gone to. As well as the next item also came from an auction. This was a Royal Crown Derby Owl that sold for $69.99. I also sold a Buyer's Choice figure of Scro um, Scrooge. This one was called Happy Scrooge. That sold for $59.99. And I feel like that either came from a yard sale or an auction. I know I got some of my buyer's choice figures at an auction, but I think I purchased a couple at a yard sale as well. Um, next item went to a subscriber named Tammy. This was for a vintage Christmas Santa with like a mushroom. This was like the most kitschy, amazing thing ever. Um, that sold for 
$54.51 and that came from the same fill -a bag rummage sale that I have been talking about. I kind of squealed, I remember when I saw that. I sold a pair of jeans. These were by Kylie Cinch. Those sold for $25.99 and they came from an auction. I also sold a Monet Sunflower Trinket Box for $34.99. Also came from an auction. There was also a Monster High Laguna Blue doll that sold for $12.99 and she came out of the tub of Monster High dolls that I purchased at a yard sale. And the last thing that I have for this chiching is another Monet piece. This was for a Macy's shopping bag trinket box but it also came with like a little I think it was like a necklace charm that sold for $39.99 and that came from an auction where Eric had purchased a bunch of Monet trinket boxes. He went to three three auctions three different times it was the same auction but each each of the three times they were selling Monet trinket boxes so we have quite a collection of Monet trinket boxes. A lot of them do go though. Like there are some, like there are collectors out there and they have been repeat buyers from us all three times. We have purchased Monet trinket boxes who are looking for specific ones for their collection. So as soon as we post one of those, they sell like right away to, you know, a repeat buyer of someone who is definitely collecting them. Uh, but that is pretty much everything for this specific cha-ching. As far as eBay goes, um, I feel like things are moving along pretty well. Um, the one thing that I kind of wanted to touch base on again, um, I know I've mentioned this in like some of my past cha-ching videos, I am still personally having issues with the notification sound still. I still like don't understand why that hasn't been fixed yet. It's really still bugging me. Um, another thing that's bugging me still that hasn't been fixed yet is that when I'm trying to list something on my phone, if I like back out to put in like my my buy it now price or what have you, sometimes it's not saving the description that I just wrote up. I'm still having that issue at times, so I'm still having to like copy each time I make my listing just in case it disappears. That way I don't have to rewrite it up. So these are like two like problems that I know it's not just me having and I just don't understand why week after week after week after week they're still not being fixed by eBay. It is very aggravating. So like those are like my two biggest like peeves as far as <laughs> eBay goes right now. Um, but as far as sales and stuff, I think, um, you know, everything's going really well. I think this last month was, uh, you know, one of the better months that we've, we've had, um, since, you know, like around Christmas. Um, so sales have been really good last month. Um, and you know, I think sales have just been being really good in general lately. So that's always good. I feel like I should always knock on wood when I say that. Um, I didn't actually get anything listed today yet. So I'm, I'm, I've been filming my video, like I've been filming videos today. I filmed a haul today and I'm filming this Cha-Ching video and I'm going to try and get both of those edited today. So I don't have a lot of time to like get things listed so I want to at least try and get like maybe a couple of things listed before the end of the day um just to you know keep things running <laughs> smoothly um but as far as that goes it's pretty much everything I don't really have I feel like a whole lot to to talk about um but I hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know what you thought down in the comments, how everything is going for you. If you are still having issues with the eBay notifications and not saving your descriptions, let me know because I like knowing, you know, if it's just me still or if like other people are having problems as well because sometimes I feel like it's just me but I know other people have definitely been having problems. I just don't know if people are still having problems but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.